Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be talking about one of my favorite characters from the Twilight Saga, Bella Swan, also known as Kristen James Stewart, but she is so much more than that as well. And we are going to talk about this in this video, from her career to her personal life and her amazing achievements. Kristen James Stewart, born in April 9, 1990, is an American actress who has received various accolades including a British Academy Film Award and a Caesar Award, in addition to nominations for an Academy Award and a Golden Globe Award. Born and raised in LA to parents who both worked in the entertainment industry, Stewart gained notice at the age of 12 for her role as the daughter of Jodie Foster's character in David Fincher's thriller Panic Room, which earned her a Young Artist Award nomination. She subsequently starred in Speak, Catch That Kid, Zatura, A Space Adventure and Into the Wild. She went on to achieve global stardom for her role as Bella Swan in the Twilight Saga film series which ranks amongst the highest grossing film franchises. For the same role, she was awarded the BAFTA Rising Star Award in 2010. After starring in the fantasy film Snow White and the Huntsman, Stewart rose in big budget films in favor of independent productions in the years following. She took on roles in the dramas Camp X-Ray and Still Alice in 2014 and the science fiction romance Equals. In 2015, she was acclaimed for her performance in Olivier Asaya's drama film Clouds of Seuss Maria, which won her the Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress. Stewart reunited with Asaya's the following year in the supernatural thriller Personal Shopper and made her directorial debut with the short film Come Swim. She returned to mainstream Hollywood with leading roles in the action film Charlie's Angels and the romantic comedy film Happiest Season. Stewart's portrayal of Diana, Princess of Wales in Pablo Lorraine's biographical drama Spencer earned her a widespread critical acclaim and a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Actress. Stewart was born in LA, California on April 9, 1990. Her father, John Stewart, is a stage manager and television producer, while her Australian-born mother, Jules Mann Stewart, is a script supervisor and filmmaker. Jules was adopted by a Jewish couple in California, Norma and Ben Ehrman, in 1953. A DNA test showed that one of Kirsten's biological maternal grandparents was Ashkenazi Jewish. Stewart has an older brother, Cameron B. Stewart, and two adopted brothers, Dana and Taylor. In 2012, her mother filed for divorce after 27 years of marriage. Stewart grew up in the San Fernando Valley. She attended local schools until the 7th grade and as she became more involved in acting, she continued her education by distance until graduating from high school. Since she, has, since she was raised in a family who work in the entertainment industry as non-actors, Stewart thought she would become a screenwriter or a director but never considered being an actor, saying, I never wanted to be the center of attention. I wasn't that I want to be famous, I want to be an actor. I never sought out acting, but I always practiced my autograph because I love pens. I would write my, my name on everything. Stewart began acting at the age of 8, after an agent saw her perform in her elementary school's Christmas play. After auditioning for a year, she got her first role with a small, non-speaking part in the Disney Channel television film The Thirteenth Year. Her next film was The Flintstones in Viva Rock Vegas, where she played the Ring Toss Girl. She also appeared in the independent film The Safety of Objects, 
and the tomboy daughter of a troubled single mother. Stewart also played the tomboy diabetic daughter of a divorced mother, Jodie Foster, in the thriller film Panic Room, directed by David Fincher. She was nominated for a Young Artist Award for her performance. Following the success of Panic Room, Stewart was cast in another thriller, Cold Creek Manor, playing the daughter of Dennis Quaid and Sharon Stone's character and receiving a Young Artist Award nomination for her performance. At this point in her career, she began homeschooling due to her irregular schedule. At the age of 14, she first star- her first starring role was in the children's action comedy Catch That Kid, opposite Max Gerard and Corbin Bleu. That year, Stewart also played the role of Lila in the thriller Undertow. Stewart starred in the Lifetime Showtime television film Speak, based on the novel by the same name by Laurie House Anderson. Stewart, aged 13 at the time of filming, played Melinda Sordino, a high school freshman who nearly stopped speaking after being raped. Her performance was widely praised with the New York Times stating Miss Stewart creates a convincing character full of pain and turmoil. She appeared in the fantasy adventure film Zatura, a space adventure playing the role of Lisa Budwing, the irresponsible older sister of two little boys. During their playing a board game, they turned their house into a spacecraft hurtling uncontrollably in outer space. The film was praised by critics, but Stewart's performance did not draw much media attention. Her character is immobilized during most of the film. The following year, she played the character Maya in Fierce People, directed by Griffin Dunn. After that film, she received the lead role of Jess Solomon in the supernatural thriller film The Messengers. She appeared as teenager Lucy Hartwick in The Land of Women, a romantic drama starring Meg Ryan and Adam Brody. The film, as well as Stewart's performance, received mixed reviews. The same year, she had a small role in the Sean Penn directed adaptation Into the Wild. For her portrayal of Tracy, a teenage singer who has a crush on the young adventurer Christopher McCandles, played by Emil Hirsch, Stewart received mixed reviews. While Salon.com considered her work a study, sensitive performance and the Chicago Tribune noted that she did vividly well with a sketch of a role, Variety's critic Dennis Harvey said, it's unclear whether Stewart means to be playing hippie chick Tracy as vapid or whether it just comes off that way. The film received Screen Actors Guild nomination for Outstanding Performance by a cast in a motion picture. After Into the Wild, Stewart had a cameo appearance in Jumper and also appeared in What Just Happened, which was released in October 2008. She co-starred The Cake Eaters, an independent film that has been screened, screened only at film festivals. Both the film and Stewart's performance received many positive reviews. Critic Bill Goodicons from the Arizona Republic said that Stewart really shines. She excels at both aspects of the performance, giving Georgia a strength that defies any sort of pity one might feel for her without letting us forget her, her vulnerability. On November 16, 2007, Summit Entertainment announced that Stewart would play main character Bella Swan, Swan in the romantic fantasy film Twilight, based on Stephanie Meyer's novel of the same name. Stewart was on the set of Adventureland when director Catherine Hardwick visited her for an informal screen test, which captivated the director. She starred alongside Robert Pattinson, who plays Edward Cullen, and Stewart described her approach to the role as 
capturing that first awakening, that ownership of your body and desire. Twilight was released in the US in November 2008. Stewart's performance gained mixed reviews with Owen Guberman of Entertainment Weekly describing her as the ideal casting choice and praising her for conveying Bella's detachment as well as her need to bust through it, while Claudia Puyuk of US Today criticized her acting for being wooden and lacking variety in her blank facial expressions. She received praise for her role in Adventureland, a comedy drama film written and directed by Greg Motola and co-starring Jesse Eisenberg. Critic James Baradinelli said Stewart is more than merely appealing in this role. She makes M a fully realized woman and some of the most intricate development results from what the camera observes in Stewart's eyes. Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times said Stewart was beautiful, enigmatic and very experienced. And as MSN Movies, James Rochi stated Stewart's vulnerable spooky power is used to nice effect. Stewart reappeared as Bella in the sequel to Twilight title New Moon, once again receiving mixed reviews for her performance. Jordan Mincer from Variety called Stewart the heart and soul of the film and praised her for giving both weight and depth to dialogue. She makes Bella's psychologically psychological wounds seem like the real deal. On the other hand, Manola Dargis from the New York Times said Stewart's lonely girl blues soon grow wearisome and Bill Goody Cons from the Arizona Republic stated Stewart is a huge disappointment. She sucks the energy right out the film. She reprised this role in a third film Eclipse, which was released in June 2010. Critics were warmer toward the film compared to its predecessors. Stewart starred in the yellow hand handkerchief which debuted at the 2009 Sundance Film Festival and was released in theaters in 2010. She also starred alongside James Gandolfini in Welcome to the Rileys, which premiered at the 2010 Sundance Film Festival. The same year, Stewart portrayed rock star Joan Jett in The Runaways, a biographical film of the titular band from writer-director Floria Sikis Mondi. Stewart met with Jet to prepare for the role and pre recorded songs in a studio for the film. Praising Stewart's performance, the Metro Times Bill Holdship wrote It turns out that Stewart is actually really good at capturing Jet's icy touch, but cool girl swagger adding the needed touches of vulnerability that transform it into a pretty terrific performance. Stewart is a genuine rock star here. Also, A.O. Scott of the New York Times noted a watchful and unassuming Stewart gives the movie its spine and soul. At the 63rd British Academy Film Awards in February 2010, Stewart won the BAFTA Rising Star Award. She topped Forbes' list at, of Hollywood's Best Actors for the Buck in 2011. She was listed at the 13 highest earning entertainment industry figure in Vanity Fair's Hollywood's top 40 list in the same year with an estimated earning of 28.5 million for her film roles during the year. Forbes also ranked her as the world's highest paid actress in 2012 with total earnings of 34 million. The fourth installment in the Twilight film series Breaking Dawn Part 1 was released on November 18, 2011. The Village Voices Dan Connies said Stuart beautifully underplays the role while Emma Dipton of Total Film described her relation the relationship between Stuart and Pattinson's characters as like a sad destructive charade. Despite the actor's chemistry, on December 6, 2011, Stuart was named number one on Forbes magazine list of Hollywood's best actors for the bug. 
on January 13, she became the face of a new unnamed Balenciaga perfume. In June, its name was promoted as Flora Botanica. Stewart starred as Snow White in the film Snow White and the Huntsman and appears as Mary Lou in On the Road, the film adaptation of Jack Kerouac's novel of the same name. She concluded the role of Bella Swan in Breaking Dawn Part 2, released in November 2012. The film attracted a mixed critical response but found success during its box office run, grossing 830 million worldwide and becoming the 81, uh, 81's highest grossing film. The Twilight film series dubbed the Twilight Saga generated 3.32 billion worldwide, making it one of the highest grossing film franchises. According to Forbes, Stewart was the world's highest paid actress in 2012 with total earnings of 34 million. She earned 12 million each for the last two installments in the Twilight series, including royalties. On December 11, 2013, Chanel announced Stewart as their new face for a Western-inspired fashion collection. The campaign was shot by Carl Lagerfeld and released online in May 2014. Balenciaga released a new fragrance, Rosa Botanica, with Stewart remaining the face of the brand. She was ranked number 3 on Forbes' highest paid actress in 2013, with a total earning of 22 million number 10 in 2014 with 12 million and number 9 in 2015 with 12 million. Camp X-Ray, her first film of 2014, 14, premiered at the Sundance Film Festival on January the 17. While it generated mixed reviews from critics, Stewart's performance as a young soldier stationed at Guantanamo Bay detention camp received praise. David Rooney of The Hollywood Reporter called it her best screen work to date, playing the role of an inexperienced military guard, while Xan Brooks of The Guardian said it's a role that reminds us what a fine performer she was in the likes of Into the Wild and Adventureland. In 2014 she appeared in the music video for Jenny Lewis just one of the guys, and in the New York Times short movie Nine Kisses. Stewart next starred alongside Juliette Binoche and Chloe Grace Moritz in Olivier's Assayez, Clouds of Seals Maria. The film premiered at the 2014 Cannes Film Festival. Her performance in the film was critically acclaimed. Todd McCarthy of The Hollywood Reporter said that Stewart's habitual low-keyed style, which can border on the monotone, functions as effective underplayed contrast. Peter De Bruge of Variety praised Stewart's spontaneous, agitated energy that makes her the most compellingly watchable American actress of her generation. Robbie Collin of the Daily Telegraph des described her por portrayal as sharp and subtle, knowable and then suddenly distant, and highlighted the brilliant lightness of the touch in her approach to the film's twist. For the performance, Stewart won the Caesar Award for Best Supporting Actress, becoming the first American actress to receive a nomination in 30 years. She is the second American winner after Adrian Brody, who won the Caesar Award for Best Actor in 2003. The same year, Stewart appeared alongside Julianne Moore in Still Alice, a drama film that premiered at the 2014 Toronto International Film Festival. Critics commented her performance in the film. Peter Travers of Rolling Stones called her wonderfully vibrant and Dangerous and said, even when still Alice sometimes slips into sentiment, Moore and Stewart are funny, fierce, and glorious. Stewart appeared in the Tim Blake Nelson's Anesthesia 
and Indian drama about a group of New Yorkers which was released on January 8, 2016 by IFC Films. She co-starred with Jesse Eisenberg again in American Ultra in 2015. That same year she starred in Once and Forever, which was directed by Carl Lagerfeld. Stewart co-starred along with Nicholas Hunt in Drake Dormus, Futuristic Love Story Equals, which was released on July 15, 2016. She was confirmed to join Kelly Reichardt's film Certain Women in 2015, and the film was released on October 14 the next year. She starred in the Woody Allen's film Cafe Society opposite Steve, Steve Carell and Jesse Eisenberg, making her third collaboration with the latter. Gaining mixed reviews upon its premiere, the film was released on July 2016. Stewart also reunited with Clouds of Seuss Maria director Olivier Assayas to headline his film Personal Shopper, a ghost story that takes place in the fashion industry. She also co-starred in Ang Lee war drama Billy Lynn's Long, Li- Long Halftime Walk, which was released on November 11th. In December the same year, Stewart appeared in the official music video for the Rolling Stones single Write Them On Down. In 2016, she became the youngest actress to be an honoree at the New York Film Festival. In the same year as well, she was also an honoree at EOS Women in Hollywood Awards alongside Amy Adams, Felicity Jones, Anna Kendrick, Arja Naomi King, Helen Mirren and Lupita Nyong'o. In May 2016, it was, an, it was announced that Stewart would make her directorial debut with a short film for the female-focused digital publisher Refinery29. It would be part of their Shutterbox anthology. The short film, titled Come Swim, had its world premiere at the 2017 Sundance Film Festival. In June, Stewart appeared in a video ad campaign for Chanel. In 2017, she co-authored a computer science preprint about the use of neural net techniques in the making of her short film Come Swim. That same year, Stewart hosted Saturday Night Live for the first time with musical guest Alessia Cara and was invited to join the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. In 2018, she appeared opposite Chloe Sewingy in Lizzie about Lizzie Borden, directed by Craig William McNeil, which had its world premiere at the 2018 Sundance Film Festival. It was released on September 14 by Saban Films and Roadside Attractions. The film received mixed reviews from critics. She also starred in J.T. Leroy, a, bio, a biopic about Laura Albert alongside Laura Dern and Diane Kruger. She also appeared in the music video for Interpose If You Really Love Nothing and served as a member of the jury for the official competition of the 2018 Cannes Film Festival. Starring as actress Jean Seberg in Seberg, directed by Benedict Andrews, it premiered at the 76th Venice International Film Festival in August 2019. While the film received mixed reviews, Stewart's performance received praise. Time magazine declared her performance the 10th best performances of 2019. She returned to mainstream Hollywood with starring roles in the action comedy film Charlie's Angels and the science fiction film Underwater. Critics were mixed in their reviews of both films, but Stewart's performance in the former was well received. She wrote and directed a short film titled Crickets as part of the anthology series Homemade, which follows stories from 18 filmmakers from around the world during the COVID-19 pandemic isolation. 
It was co-produced by Pablo Lorraine's production company Fabula. The series was released on Netflix on June 30, 2020. Stewart later starred opposite Mackenzie Davis in Happiest Season, an LGBT holiday romance film directed by Claire Duvall, which was released on November 25th, the same year. And in June 2020, she was announced as having been cast as Diana, Princess of Wales in Pablo Lorraine's biographical drama film Spencer which chronicles Diana's decision to divorce Charles, Prince of Wales. She worked with a dialect coach and studied Diana's posture for the part, describing Diana as someone who sticks out as a sparkly house on fire, Stewart said she felt more free and alive and able to move in the role than she did in any of her previous projects. The film premiered at the 78th Venice International Film Festival in September 2021 and released in November that same year. Critics lauded Stewart's portrayal of Diana with Jonathan Romney of Screen Daily describing it as brittle, tender, sometimes playful and not a little uncanny and Kyle Buchanan of the New York Times deeming her casting a meta stroke of genius. Stewart received nominations for the Academy Award for Best Actress and Golden Globe Award for Best Actress in Motion Picture Drama for her performance. She played an investigator in the film Crimes of the Future, which premiered at the 2022 Cannes Film Festival. In his review, Todd McCarthy of Deadline Hollywood described her portrayal as oddly nervous. In 2023, Stewart was selected as jury president for the competition section of the 73rd Berlin International Film Festival to be held in February. She is set to write and direct a film adaptation of writer Lydia Yuknavich's memoir The, Chrono the Chronology of Water, which would mark her future film directorial debut. She is attached to play Joan Romer, the most prominent female member of the best of the Beat generation alongside Ben Foster in his untitled directorial debut, a film adaptation of William S. Burroughs' early works and letters. Stewart is also slated to star in the romantic thriller Love Lies Bleeding from writer-director Ross Glass as well as playing Susan Sontag in a biopic entitled Sontag and star Michael Cara in the road trip comedy Sacramento. Stewart resides in Los Angeles in 2017. She stated that she is bisexual, saying you are not confused if you are bisexual. It's not confusing at all. For me, it's quite the opposite. In 2019, Stewart stated that she had been advised not to be affectionate with her girlfriend in public in order to land mainstream roles. She said, I don't want to work with people like that. Stewart identifies as a feminist. She suffers from equinophobia, the fear of horses. Stewart dated the late Anton Eugen when they were filming Fierce People, she described him as her first heartbreak. After their split, Stewart dated her speed co-star Michael Angarano from 2005 to 2009. In the mid-2009, Stewart became romantically linked to her Twilight co-star Robert Pattinson. In July 2012, she was photographed with her Snow White and the Huntsman director Rupert Sanders revealing an affair. The day the photos were released, Sanders, who was 19 years her senior and married at the time, issued a public apology for the affair, as did Stewart. Pattinson and Stewart split but reconciled in October 2012. The pair eventually broke up in May 2013. 
and in mid the same year Stewart started dating visual effects producer Alicia Cargill. She briefly dated French singer Soko in the spring of 2016 before she resumed dating Cargill in mid-2016. From late 2016, she was in a relationship with New Zealand's model Stella Maxwell until they break up in late 2018. Stewart dated stylist Sarah Dinkin from late 2018 until she resumed dating Maxwell again in mid-2019. Stewart has been in a relationship with screenwriter Dylan Mayer since August 2019 and stated in November 2021 that she and Mayer were engaged. In 2012, Stewart signed and donated the dress she wore to the premiere of the Twilight Saga Breaking Dawn Part 2 to a charity bus auction benefiting the Robin Hood Foundation's Sandy Relief Fund which provides long-term support to those affected by Hurricane Sandy. In 2016, she participated in building a school in Nicaragua through the non-profit Build On, with the goal being to give children the opportunity to become educated in a safe space and to break the cycle of poverty and illiteracy. The following year, she raised 500000 for Hurricane Sandy relief by meeting with an unnamed Middle Eastern prince for 15 minutes. Stewart ranked number 7 on Ask Men's list of top 99 women for 2013, and Glamour UK named her the best dressed woman in 2012, 13 and 16. In 2020, Stewart received the Actress of the Decade Award by the Hollywood Critics Association. Thank you guys for watching this. I hope you have liked and enjoyed this video. Please let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel for more inspiring women to come. Thank you. Bye.